welcome students let us proceed in the topic of kinetics of particles 3 by solving some more examples the next question is a ball of mass 110 g is moving towards a batsman with a velocity of 24 m per second the batsman hits the ball by the bat and the ball attains a velocity of 36 m per second if the ball and the bat are in contact with each other for a period of 0.015 seconds determine the average impulsive force exerted on the ball during the impact so if you observe the figure you can see that there is a ball which is coming on towards the bat with a velocity of 24 m per second that means i can say that this is the initial velocity that is u of the ball now when this ball is being hit by this bat it takes this direction as shown and a velocity of 36 meters per second hence i can tell that the final velocity of the ball after being hit is v is equal to 36 meters per second now before applying impulse momentum equation we need all the forces and the things like velocity acceleration etc in either x or y direction so here you can see that velocity is inclined at some angle theta so we will resolve this velocity component in x and y direction as 36 cos 40 and 36 sin 40 respectively now we can apply the impulse momentum equation in x and y direction so let us start with the impulse momentum equation in x direction we have mu plus impulse is equal to mv this is our basic impulse momentum equation now we also know that this impulse is given by f multiplied by t so just replacing impulse in terms of mathematical form i will get an equation as mu plus summation of ft is equal to mv as we are applying impulse momentum equation in x direction so all the velocities which will be considered or forces which will be considered will be in x direction only so what i will do here i will write mu x fx and mv x considering all the things in x direction now the value of mass is already given to us in the question as 110 grams but we need it in kg so i will write 110 divided by 1000 ux that means initial velocity in x direction so in the figure you can observe that there is a initial velocity in x direction with a value of 24 meter per second fx we need to find out what is the impulsive force time t is given to us in the question as 0.015 seconds vx that means final velocity in x direction so again from the figure we can see that final velocity in x direction is 36 cos 40 so substituting all this value i will get the equation as 110 divided by 1000 because i have converted the grams into kgs ux minus 24 because it is going towards left side plus fx into time is given to us as 15 seconds then again mass 110 divided by 1000 multiplied by vx that is velocity in x direction going towards right side hence it is written positive 36 cos 40 so on solving this equation there is only one unknown then i will get the answer for fx as the 378.23 newtons now as we applied impulse momentum equation in x direction similarly we will apply impulse momentum in y direction so starting with the same equation mu plus impulse is equal to mv writing impulse as f into t i will get mu plus summation of f into t is equal to mv now as we are applying impulse momentum in y direction i will just replace here u with uy and v with v1 now m is given to us in the question uy that is initial velocity in y direction now again if you observe the figure initial velocity is exactly horizontal in x direction there is no velocity in y direction in initial stage hence i can write uy is equal to 0 summation of f will be summation of fy multiplied by t is already given to us mass is again already given to us vy that means velocity in y direction or i can say final velocity in y direction so again from the figure we can see 
final velocity in y direction is 36 sin 40 so all the things are known just substituting the things i will get one equation as 110 divided by 1000 multiplied by 0 plus fy multiplied by 15 divided by 1000 is equal to 110 divided by 1000 multiplied by 36 sin 40 now in this entire equation the only unknown is fy so solving it i will get the answer for fy as 169.69 newtons now in earlier stage we got the answer for fx now we calculated fy what we were required to find out we were required to find out what is the average impulsive force average impulsive force you can also say it as resultant impulsive force so we have force in fx we have force in fy to find out resultant i will apply an equation as f is equal to root of fx square plus fy square substituting so the values so it is summation of 378.23 square plus 169.69 square on solving this i will get the answer for f as 414.55 newton this is the resultant force acting on this particular object during impact now as force is the vector quantity with magnitude we also need the direction and for direction we have the formula theta is equal to tan inverse of fy by fx again substituting the values i will get the answer for theta as 24.16 degrees this completes the solution